geopolymer products from industrial waste a green technology by csr national metallurgical laboratory jamshedpur let us see what is geopolymer first geopolymers are aluminum silicate polymers formed in alkaline environments they are considered green alternate to portland cement they are amorphous in nature let's see how geopolymers are synthesized they are prepared by alkaline activation of aluminum silicates so an aluminum silicate material and an alkali solution are the essential raw materials aluminum silicate can be of natural or synthetic origin mixture of sodium hydroxide and sodium silicate are the activators a simplified model of geopolymerization process given by peter duxon in 2007 is shown here alkali dissolves the alumina and silica as aluminate and silicates this combine and form a gel this eventually polymerizes and hardens though any aluminum silicate is spoky csr enamel has focused on geopolymers based on industrial by products we use fly ash as the starting material for the synthesis ground granulated plasma slag was added to enhance the reaction rate some additives are used to get the desired chemistry and properties as described earlier the activator is a combination of sodium hydroxide and sodium silicate based on the chemical and mineralogical composition different raw materials are weighed the batch composition was prepared by mixing different raw materials the powders are mixed in a mechanical mixer in dry condition activator solution is added to the dry mix and the mixing is continued till it forms a uniformly mixed mass the pasty mass is then cast in pvc molds molds are then vibrated on a vibrating table for 2 minutes this is then allowed to set the blocks are removed from the molds after 8 hours and cured in controlled humidity conditions for 3 days
These blocks can be made in different shapes, size and colors. This video describes the operation of the first geopolymer plant in India. The process starts with manual feeding of raw materials to storage bin through a screw feeder. Different raw materials are stored one by one in respective bins by swiveling tube. PLC controlled belt weighing system transfers the materials to the Mueller mixer. This is the unit for preparation and dosing of alkali solution. After dry mixing, alkali is dosed into the mixer. Mixing is continued till a homogeneous mix is obtained. The mix is discharged to the belt conveyor which transfers the mix to the storage hopper or the press. All the operations are controlled by this PLC. Pressing cycle starts with filling the mold cavity by material feeder. Once filled, a vibration is given for 60 seconds. Thereafter, the main frame moves down, compacting the mix for 5 seconds. The mold table moves up and the ejection of pavers takes place under load condition. Pusher move the pallet with green pavers to outward conveyor. Cured pavers applied in parking and pathways are in good condition even after 3 years of laying. Besides fly ash and blasphemous slag, we have used other industrial waste as well. This includes red mud, zinc slag, copper slag, etc. Some of the products are displayed here. For further information, you may please contact Director CSR NML.